don't even feel like doing my intro. I swear I don't. <laughs> hmm. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Official J, man. I'm I'm back with another video. As you can see by that title and that beautiful thumbnail, man. Um, you could you could see what the what the, what the video gonna be about today. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like doing this video, but. Um. Before I get, before I get started, let me, let me just say this. And it's the, this, the stuff that really, 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 like really pisses me off with people in this generation, especially around my age group. Or maybe a little bit older, or younger, in either this generation. Period. This is what really pisses me off about this generation, right? But before I say what pisses me off about this, um, I want to say condolences, man, to to the whole Migos family, um, Quavo, Offset, um, QC label, um. P, um, just the whole Migo, Migo Nation, uh, rest in peace takeoff, man, was tragically killed in Houston, um, it's just, just, it's just sad, man, that, that black men can't, can't grow old, it's, it's just sad. That's it's just it's just totally, totally sad, right? It's totally sad that that the rap game is is one of the most dangerous dangerous jobs in, in the business. It's sad. It's sad. You know, I want to say, uh, I think that was last week. I was watching the Drink Champs interview with with the Migos, with with Takeoff and Quavo. And there's a little segment on Drink Champs where you know Nori and DJ EFN likes to congratulate people on their success and give them flowers. And. During this Drink Champs interview, Nori was, was basically giving them their flowers. Now, remind you, he actually gave Takeoff and Quavo flowers. It was like some gold flowers and like a like a lit shut case. And and Takeoff was like, hey, I, lo I love these flowers. They, they don't die, do they? And Nori was like, nah, they don't die. And basically, to cut it short, Takeoff was like, hey, I want I want my flowers while I'm here, not while I'm gone. And just to wake up and see that news, wake up and see the news, mind you, I woke up early. Woke up early. First thing I seen, trending, Takeoff. I say, I say take off. What's, what, what's, what's, what's take off trending? Sure enough, he's trending for the wrong reasons. <sighs> There's been reports that, multiple reports, and it is officially confirmed. Um, take off was tragically killed in Houston at a bowling alley. Um, from what I'm hearing, it was over a dice game. Something simple as a fucking dice game. Now y'all understand why, why the rap game is the most dangerous game. Not even a game. 
most dangerous job for artists, for a rap artists. Yeah, you can, you can live, you can live the life. You can have all the money, all the fame, all whatever. But if you still tied to the streets, not saying take off and none of that was tied to the streets, but it comes with the territory, bro. Sad to say. But back to the thing that I said earlier about what pisses me off about this generation. Why is it the first thing we see or the first thing we do when we see a fucking lifeless body on the ground? Excuse my French. I'm sorry. Why is it that the first thing we do when we see a lifeless body on the ground is to pull out our fucking phones? Like, why? Why is that so... So, so popular to to do that. That, for one, that's dumb. For two, nobody want to see that. Three, that's just plainly stupid as fuck. Like, wh what is wrong with y'all? Like, I don't get that. I I don't. Like, like yo. Like, what is going on in this generation? It's it's cool for people to pull out phones before picking up a phone call in 911 because you're seeing a lifeless body. And whoever posted that on the internet, bro, like, I'm going to pray for y'all. But that's, that's just plainly stupid. Plainly stupid as hell. Like, I don't know what be going on in y'all heads when y'all see a lifeless body, bro. But to post that shit on the internet is trifling as fuck. And it doesn't and it shows that you guys don't have no respect. None of that. No respect, no morals, no sympathy at all. Like people are weird as hell nowadays. But now that that's out the way, um, I gotta say, man, now if anybody who knows me knows, like, through, through my middle school, high school years, it was Migos for me. It was Migos. Straight Migos. Yeah, it was Wayne, too, because Wayne still one of them. Wayne the GOAT. But after Wayne... It was Migos. I'm talking about I'm talking about fire in the booth Migos. I'm talking about Versace Migos. I'm talking about yeah, talking about hit 'em. Talking about dab. Talking talking about all it. It was middle school through high school to now. That I was a, I was big big Migos fans, and one of one of my favorite favorite people in a group was Takeoff. Like when I first got put on to Migos, it was fire in the booth, and I was in I think I was in I was in middle school when I, when I seen it, so it was fire in the booth when I seen when I heard when I seen when I first got put on to the Migos. Fire in the booth, legendary. Anybody who does any rapper that does fire in the booth automatically kills it. And it was just it was just something about this particular group, and Migos, right? They had the swag, they had the charisma, they had all this, right? But it was this one person that stood out to me. He was quiet, didn't say nothing, barely, barely said anything. But when he rapped, you going to feel him. And that's what Takeoff did for me, man. Takeoff, Takeoff, he barely spoke. He barely got into anything. And he just stood his ground. He stayed loyal. You. Like, like when Takeoff rapped, man, Takeoff was, was him. 
take like like I seen that scene in the old interview on Breakfast Club. Quavo was like, take off is the best at the time, take off was the best at the, in the group. And to me it still is. It's still the best in the group. But um it's just crazy, man. Like sad day for the culture. I pray for the whole city of Atlanta, man. Um I pray for the rest of his fans, including like myself. This is try this is surprising and shocking news, man. But uh I pray for Quavo, I pray for takeoff, man. Um like I said, a whole the whole family. Um I pray that offset can can reconcile with 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 Quavo, because I know this gotta be be killing offset, like right about now. I just know. Um can can't even imagine what offset was probably thinking at that at that point in time. Right there. It could have been one phone call just to squash whatever whatever beef they had or anything like that. It's crazy. But um out of all this out of all this message, all I'm saying is you you can love me or hate me. That's cool. You don't gotta know me. You don't gotta like me. That's cool. I could I could live with that. But to everybody who do rock with me, man, and support me, whether I know you or don't know you, I genuinely am thankful for your support. Um, and the message I'm gonna give today, man, call somebody today. Simply love somebody today, for real. Squash all that beef shit. Squash, mend all the fences. Life is too short. Life is too short. Squash all that beef shit. Just squash it. Life is life is too short. Life is too short. Pick up the phone, call somebody. I don't care if they got you blocked. Figure out a way to reach out to them. Send a message through somebody. I apologize. I think in this generation, man, us men and women are, especially for men, our egos are too, are too big at times to to even reach up, pick up the phone, and say, "Hey, I'm sorry." Some some for same for the women. Women are too prideful to, to pick up the phone and put their beef aside and and say, "Hey, I was wrong. I apologize. I'm sorry." This generation is so fucked up, man, that we don't realize that we can be the death of our own people at times. So, um, yeah, that's the that's the message for me, man. Pick up the phone, call somebody, love somebody, right your wrongs, and try to stay on that narrow path, man, because life is short. Life is short. Um, it's a new month. Um, wishing blessings. Positivity, good good health all across the board to every everybody across the world, man. Um, again, man. Uh, rest in peace, take off, man. It's, it's still one of my favorite Migos. Still one of my favorite members of the Migos. Um, Migos as a whole, one of the greatest groups there is. Not like I said, Migos still one of the greatest groups there is. Um, and yeah, that's all for today's video, man. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. Um, and again, love somebody today, hug somebody today, kiss on somebody today. Because you, you just never know. So, um, hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Um, and just yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, I'm gonna be considering me that I'm a big, huge Migos fan. I'm I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be respectfully bumping all Migos today. So yeah, man, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notification bells, man. And yeah. We gonna continue to grow and love on each other, man. Positivity all across the world.
And yeah, sad day for the culture today, man, for real. But I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out. Peace.